Hello, good morning. Welcome to the world of Animal Kingdom. Today we can study the characteristic features of phylum Arthropoda. Classification of phylum Arthropoda, subphylum 3 Mandibulata. What is the features of Mandibulata? They are aquatic, means freshwater or marine, or terrestrial, land nature. Okay, then body is divisible into two cephalothorax and abdomen. Cephalothorax thoracic region okay circular thoracic region and abdomen or three that is head thorax abdomen okay so this is the division of body then head ears antenna mandible maxilla okay head part antenna will be the sensory in function antenna mandible and maxilla. Respiratory organs are gills or trachea. Respiration by gills, gill, uh, respiration by gills or branchial or trachea. Okay. Then the subphylum mandibulata is divided into four classes. That is very important. Okay. Subphylum mandibulata is divided into four classes. Keep in mind these four classes. Which are four classes? Crustacea, Chilopoda, Diplopoda, Insecta. Okay, one more time. Crustacea. So, mandibulator, subphylum mandibulator divided into four classes. First is Crustacea, second Chilopoda, third Diplopoda, and fourth insecta class insecta okay then first class crustacea you know that crab prawns this all comes under crustaceans okay actually what are the features of crustacea they are aquatic they live in water head and thorax fuse Head and thoracic region. You know that head, thorax, abdomen, region. So in that head and thorax fuse to form cephalothorax, covered by chitinous carapace. What is carapace? What is carapace? It is a hard protective covering of bone or chitin, especially one which cover the dorsal portion of an animal. So organism. So here you can see. You see. Here you can see carapace, thorax region, carapace here, here you can see. Okay, this is the uh, picture of uh, that is prawn. What you can see here, antenna is the, you can see antenna. Okay, antenna is the, then uh, uh, what is it, mandible, mandible region, you can see maxilla. Okay and abdomen region six segment abdomen six segment cephalothorax region 13 segment carapace thorax and then this uh, upper part we can call as carapace okay walking legs telson so this is all the structure of uh, uh, that is prawn okay comes under crustacean glass crustacean anyway uh, cephalothorax Covered by chitinous carapace. Carapace, I told you that it's a hard protective covering. Okay, especially on which cover the dorsal portion of an animal. Dorsal portion of an animal. That's called as carapace. Okay. And in some, the exoskeleton is hardened by calcium carbonate, crab and lobster. You see in crab. Okay, crab. They have calcium carbonate exoskeleton. What is exoskeleton? Outer shell become very hard by the deposition of calcium carbonate. That is exoskeleton. 
Encephalic origin bears two pairs of antennae, antennules and antennae, unique in feature. So this region, cephal, you can see cephalothorax. This is cephalic region, this is thoracic region. The fused structure regions are called as cephalothorax. So cephalic region bears two pairs of antennae, like antennules and antennae, unique in feature. Okay. And one pair of mandibles and two pairs of maxilla. One pair of one pairs of mandible and two pairs of maxilla. Here you can see the maxilla, mandible and maxilla. You can see here in the case of frog. Okay, in crab it will be it may be different. Okay, mandible and two pairs of maxilla. Thoracic and abdominal appendages are biramous. Thoracic, what is thoracic and abdominal? Thoracic and abdominal. This is thoracic. This is thoracic. This region is called as thoracic region. And abdominal appendages, this, uh, this appendage is called as abdominal appendages. So thoracic and uh, abdominal appendages are bioramas. What is the meaning of bioramas? Dividing to form two branches. Okay, that's a uh, two branched like structure will be. That's why it is called as bioramas. Respiration, respiratory organs are gills. That's branchial respiration. Branchial or branchial respiration. Okay. So, Anyway, just keep in mind that class crustacea, class 1 crustacea, okay. Then, what's other features of crustacea? Extratory organs are green glands or antennary glands, very important, these ones are very important. Extratory organs are green glands or antennary glands. Then, sense organs are antennae, common eyes, statosis, you know that statosis is a balancing organ in the arthropoda. You you already understood this statosis. So sense organs are antennae, compound eyes, statosis. Development is indirect. What is indirect? They have larval stage. Larva undergoes drastic changes, met uh, metamorphosis. Okay. Then uh, form adult. That is called as indirect development. Larval stage will be there. So that's why include different larval forms. What are the examples? Salimon. Freshwater prawn, cancer, crab, balanus, rock barnacle, succulina, road header barnacle, astagus, crayfish, daphnia, water fish. Okay, here you can see examples. Palimon, actually freshwater prawn, palimon. Then crab, cancer or crab. Then balanus, rock barnacle, balanus. Cyclone, road headed barnacle, astacus, crayfish, daphnia, waterfish. Keep in mind, this whole example comes under class crustacea. Class crustacea. Okay. So, keep in mind some basic features that means they have uh, head and thorax fused to form cephalothorax. Okay, by uh, that is covered by chitinous carapace, this leg structure, carapace. Okay, and also brandy, the special they gives, and also they have calcium carbonate, shell, crab and lobster, etc. Okay, example also we understood, study. Okay, next classes we can see the Cleopoda, next classes.